The credit card vanishes and reappears. The cigarette impossibly rises up the credit card and then visually lowers itself down. The money changes into a card and the credit card floats between the magician's hands. The card appears out of thin air and the card changes into money. I'm also going to teach you how to endlessly produce credit cards at your fingertips. This is one of the most visual magic tricks I know, so you need to learn how to do it. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you 12 incredible magic tricks with credit cards. Make sure you follow me on Instagram by clicking the first link in the description. And let's go to the card table and learn how to do these amazing magic tricks. The magician picks up a credit card, vanishes it, and makes it reappear at his fingertips. Everything can be examined. For this trick, you need to learn something called the flip stick. Hold the credit card between your first finger, middle finger, and thumb on the very edge like this. You want your spectators directly in front of you. Now extend your middle finger slightly and pull back on the card. And you'll notice that this flicks the card back into your palm here. So you hold the card like this, extend your middle finger and pull back on the card. Keep doing this until it's really quick. And once you can do this move, you now just need to do it under the cover of your other hand. So your other hand comes over, you flick the card back, and then you twist this hand and show that the card's no longer there. What then happens is you twist this hand back round, keeping the fingers closed, and you just reverse the motion. So you use your thumb to push the credit card back out. You can then move your hand away and it creates the very deceptive and visual illusion that the credit card has vanished. The card instantly vanishes and then reappears. I'll show you that again. The card disappears into thin air and then reappears instantly. You can combine this with the flipstick vanish too. Hold the credit card like this with your middle fingers behind it and go one, two, and on the third downward motion, you release with these this hand and you just fold your hand in and the card appears to vanish. And then to produce the card again, you just reverse what you did and it looks as if the card is gone and it's back. This is a very quick, simple and easy vanish that you can learn in seconds. If you're interested in learning card tricks that are just too good to reveal on YouTube, then consider enrolling in my online card course, Card Magic Pro. If you want to learn how to do things like this. It's an ace of clubs, hearts, spades, it's an ace of, ace of hearts. Get the <laughs> as you I'm done, I'm done. Then get the course, it teaches everything that I know about card magic. And yeah, you'll learn some incredible magic tricks and it really does help support the channel as well. The magician takes the money, folds it up, and then changes it into a credit card. This can then be handed out for inspection. So take a credit card and some money, fold the money so it's roughly the same size as the credit card like this. And what you're going to do is take your thumb and hold the card and take these two fingers, your middle finger and first finger and hold the money. Then you're almost in a snapping motion. You're going to take your middle finger and gently pull back on the money. And what this will do is it will pull it behind the card. This is quite a knacky move and you just need to keep practicing over and over again and very quickly uh, you'll get it. But essentially it looks great on camera, it's perfect for those Instagram and TikTok magicians who want to do a little routine about how they have some money but they want to then turn that money into a credit card. The magician explains that static electricity is built up when you rub two cards together. The magician keeps rubbing the cards together and then moving them apart. Suddenly the bottom card springs up as it's attracted to the top card using static electricity. I'll show you that again. This is a really simple trick. Just take any two credit cards and what you need to do 
is rub them together and talk about static electricity or something. And then as you move this top card away, leave the other card resting on your fingertips. Then what happens is your little finger extends upwards and it's gonna push this card and clamp it behind this card here. So from an exposed view, that's all that's happening. So you rub the cards, move this one away, and it looks as if static electricity has connected them back together. The card floats between the magician's hands. This is just a fun little quick illusion that all you need to do is hold the card between both hands like this, get your thumbs and clip the card. And when you move your thumbs back and up and down, it looks as if the card is floating from the front view. The card changes into a banknote. I know a lot of you guys do Instagram magic, so this is a perfect trick for you. Place two lines of double-sided tape on a plastic card along both edges. Make sure the double-sided tape only goes three quarters of the way along the edge, not the entire length of the card. Now stick this card to the edge of a banknote as shown. Then fold the banknote in half and then fold it inwards so that from the front view you can only see the card. You're now ready to begin. You'll notice that there are two flaps on the back of the card. Hold the larger flap with your first finger whilst your middle finger is on the card as shown. Then simply release your middle finger in a downwards motion which will unfold hiding the card. This creates the convincing illusion that you've magically changed the card into money. The card instantly vanishes and then reappears. This is a more advanced version of the flipstick vanish that I taught you earlier. It's an instant vanish. So hold the card between your thumb, first finger and middle finger in both hands. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pull back with your middle finger as you would do in the flipstick vanish. But this hand keeps the card in place. As you can see, this builds tension and essentially when you release the pressure with this hand, the card will flick back into the palm of this hand. From the front, it creates this very visual illusion that the card has just vanished. And then to re make it reappear, simply take your thumb and push it back out. The magician takes a credit card and puts it into his pocket. He then magically produces a new card. He then keeps producing cards at his fingertips. This is incredibly visual. The card then transforms into change. This is a beautiful and quite advanced magic trick that requires two identical credit cards and some change. Take the change and put it in your left hand pocket. Once it's there, you need to learn two moves. The first is the flip stick that I taught earlier in this video. So go and watch that tutorial and then come back. You need to get really good at flicking the card back and forward like this. The second move you need to learn is how to take a credit card from a palmed position and then produce it. This is really simple. You palm the credit card, so it's like this, your fingers are closed, and then your middle finger comes back on top of the card here, your thumb goes on the front, and you simply just grab it between those fingers and pull the card into view. So practice these moves together, and once you're good at them both, you're ready to begin. So to start the, uh, to start the magic trick, you want to put this first card into Tenkai Palm that looks like this. So your thumb is, hiding, is holding it here, and the back of your hand is where pointing towards the spectator. And your other card, you just hold at your fingertips. Hold this card and put it into your pocket. Whilst this card's into your pocket, you then need to re-palm it like this. So you take the card, put it into your pocket, and once it's in my pocket, I palm the card. Once you've done that, use your first finger and middle finger to grab this card and pull it into view. Here's where the move happens. You bring out your hand from your pocket, and obviously there's a card palmed in there, and this card comes over the other card, 
and what happens is you do both those two moves at the same time. So you come in, you pull the card back and produce it and you keep doing this and it creates the very visual illusion that you're taking the card and putting it in your pocket and producing another card. Once you've done this three or four times, you actually do leave this card into your pocket. Now that it's in your pocket, your other hand comes over with nothing in it and it simply pretends to take the card whilst pulling it, whilst it really stays in this hand. You then pretend to take the card and put it in your pocket and whilst it's going into your pocket, you then grab all the change. Produce this card out again, show the spectator and for the final uh, kicker ending, you have the change in this hand here and you throw it onto the table whilst you pull this card back into your hand. The magician reaches through his hand and plucks the credit card out of thin air. This is hypervisual. So this is a really cool little effect that utilizes something called JW grip, which is normally used for coin magic, but we're gonna be using this for credit card magic. So hold the card in this position here, where you're putting the card along your middle finger like this. And you're curling your middle finger around it so that it's holding the card. You then use this ring finger here to block this edge of the card. So from the front, you can't see it, and then just pull this finger back. And from the front view, you simply can't see the credit card. You want your hand parallel with the spectator's eye line or the camera if you're using this for Instagram or TikTok magic. Then all that happens is you take your other hand and you come in and you grab the card and push it through your hand. And this just creates this very visual sort of popping illusion um, of a card appearing out of thin air. The magician carefully balances a cigarette onto the credit card. The cigarette is balanced and then slowly and visually starts to rise up. No strings or magnets are used. The cigarette then moves downwards and the magician takes it off. So this trick is really simple to do and requires a special gimmick that I've linked down in the description that's really cheap to buy. Essentially, you need a cigarette and this credit card where when you roll this ball, a little spike comes out the card and lifts up. What you then do is you show the card and the cigarette like this. You then place the cigarette to the end with the filter and you place it onto the spike as if you're trying to balance the, balance the cigarette on the card. When you let go, it looks as if the cigarette is impossibly balancing on the card. Now just roll this ball with your thumb and the spike will lift, which will simultaneously lift up the cigarette. You can do hand gestures with this, to sort of bring the cigarette up and then push it back down and it looks impossible. The credit card floats between the magician's hands. This trick is fun, easy and powerful. This effect uses invisible thread, which is simply a very, very thin bit of elasticated thread that is impossible to see with the naked eye pretty much. But it can get, create the illusion that something's floating in between your hands. So I've left a link in the description to where you can buy some, it's really cheap, and you can do loads of other effects with this as well, so it's really worth getting some. So take the invisible thread off the packet, and again, you can't really see this on camera because that's the point of it, but it's around my hand here. So it's going around the thumb and all these fingers. Then what you're going to do is you're going to hold the credit card like this and the invisible thread is going around my whole hand but it's from here to here, that's the important bit. Come in with your first finger and take the invisible thread. So now it's around my first finger and this creates a nice base for the credit card to rest on. And when you completely let go, it creates the illusion that the credit card is floating because it's simply resting on the invisible thread. You can then just take the credit card back again and the invisible thread is still around your hand. 
the credit card is placed in the magician's hand and then instantly vanishes. This trick requires this contraption. I've left a link to where you can buy one in the description. All it is is a magnet attached to a safety pin, elastic and fishing wire. Attach the magnets to the back of the credit card. This means that the magnet will stick to it. Then attach the safety pin to your shirt and hook your finger under the fishing wire. Place the credit card on your hand. Then when you're ready, place your other hand on the credit card. Release the fishing wire with your middle finger and the card will fly back out of sight. This trick works especially well if you're wearing a jacket. Thanks so much for watching this video and if you're interested in Card Magic Pro then click the first link in the description.